Okay, and welcome back. So in our last video, we added some collisions, I believe, to the uh, to the platforms. And I've gone ahead and added a few platforms. I hope you have as well. So I've got about five in here. And it is actually possible to get to the top, which is awesome. All right, so now what we're going to do is add some collectibles. So inside our code, I don't know if, if you recall, but um, for the, let me try and show it to you now, for this kind of, what's this file called again? This this phaser assets folder, there's a star as well, um, which we need for our game. And I forgot to tell you to get before, so let's uh, open up, whoops, that's not what I was meant to do. Open this up in the finder, review in finder, uh, and let's grab the star from here and paste it into here. Perfect. Um, and then let's go into tiled. Okay, let's go into our level assets and let's add that star that we just created. Um, let me make sure I'm in the right place because I often jump back and forth between projects. So this is the um, game, game jam, assets, images, and we have the star here. Open that up. Now we have that which we can use inside our level. Let's make a new object layer. Call that, of course, stars. And then we can just put them around the level anywhere we want. So let's grab this and click on that. And uh, where should we put it? I'm holding on to the uh, option key. I think you don't know the command key to snap it to the grid. Because I want to try and line it up to the platform. OK, so I'll just I'll put a few here, put one all the way down here to make, sure, to make sure the player runs for it. Uh, put one here, put one a bit further up here, and then say right here. So how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good number. You can of course have as many as you want. I'm not too fussed. Um, but yeah, so once that has been done on your stars layer, make sure you save, of course, and let's go back into the game. As you can see, we have all our stars here in the right position. So that's inside our level state. Um, go ahead and create a new method. In fact, this is actually beginning to get a bit messy. So let's create a method just for the platform. So do function uh, create, create platforms like so. And it's going to take an argument called map, which should be tiled map, I think. Uh, yeah, tiled map. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything from about here all the way. Yeah, everything from about here to there, and we'll paste that here. Okay, so as you can see, the map here is now coming from this. Uh, all we need to do now is have create platforms here, keep it above the player, and we'll pass in map. Cool. Um, and if you want, this is optional, very optional. If you want, you can have some uh, a description here. So this uh, method to create that forms. And the benefit of that here is if you hover over this class, sorry, this method because you forgot what it is, it will tell you here method to create platforms. Cool. Um, OK, so we're going to create another one of these. Pretty much the exact same thing. And you can guess it's to create the stars. Uh, same kind of argument. This, this will actually be very, very similar. Um, we also need to remember to add the group here. So, uh, stars group. And let us go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and copy all the stuff in here. Paste it into here. Uh, this, of course, will be very, very similar. So we have stars layer. Um, if you want to go ahead and create an abstraction, for this, so have one method to do both things. I've seen people do it before, like a like a create um, entities in a level. Go ahead and do that. I think this is quite a small game, so I'm not going to bother with that. It's called stars. Just double checking. But yeah, if if you want to do that, maybe some refactoring later on, you can go ahead and add, add an abstraction. Okay, I made a mistake. Stars group. Ah, spellings all over the place in this video. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, let's do it this way. And you want to have stars. Uh, stars. Star, sorry. 
and then stars layer. And then I want that to also be stars. I want that to say star. And this is actually 24 by 22. We don't care about movability inside the stars. Uh, and I think that's about it. So star, it's not called star layer. Sorry, that's my bad. It's just called star, star x, star y. Um, and then we are going to add create stars just below the platforms. Oh, how did that happen, eh? Okay, save. Um, let me just double check everything is inside where it's meant to be. Game has finished building and we're going to refresh. And the stars are missing, probably because I forgot to load it properly. Um, this should say stars. How did that happen? How on earth did that happen? I thought. Oh, coding, right? Okay, so that's done. Refresh, and it's still not showing up. That's so weird. Um, images, start, no. Just wasting your time. I, I bet you knew it, and you just, you're screaming at the screen. You left an S, but I was just too engrossed in teaching you. All right, so we have the stars loading up properly. Uh, I can't see this one all the way down here because it's um, covering, because my face is covering it. But yeah, that is how you add stars. But you might have noticed something. Inside the tiled map, these are pretty much touching the platforms, right? But inside the game, they're, they're not, they're hovering. And this is a kind of bug I've seen with tiled, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if it's the best way to fix it, but I will show you how I've done it. So what we are gonna do is get star Y and uh, minus it by star height, right? And we're also gonna do the same to the platform. So yeah, like I said before, if you want to go ahead and make an reflection, you can, because a lot of this code is very, very similar. Um, I, however, am not going to do that. Cool. So yeah, I don't know why it's done this. For some reason, you have to minus the height from the Y, but after that has been done, and we refresh the game, we will see that the stars are now flush to the platform. So they, these are now in the exact same position. If the tiled map, we can move stars around. Uh, we can move platforms around and once we save and update the game, uh, this will update too. Perfect. So that is it. In our next video, we're going to create some logic to add the stars to a score and make them disappear once you collect them. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.